common toilet. Or in this case, the not so common pussyfoot, manufactured in 1933 by the aristocrat manufacturing company. Not usually the stuff of historical discussion, but early American material culture is critical to how we think about historical change. Historians looking for the causes of the expansion of American household plumbing in the middle of the 19th century have pondered a number of possible reasons. Had it anything to do with the expansion of waterworks in major American cities like Philadelphia or New York City? Did it have anything to do with ideas about hygiene? In fact, uh, Maureen Ogle, the historian of American <laughs> domestic plumbing between 1840 and 1870, has argued that it had to do only with the reform movement. At the center of the reform movement were new ideas about the household and the purpose of the family. Maureen Ogle, in her analysis of American indoor plumbing, argues that the toilet, the expansion of the lowly toilet, had to do with a new vision of the American household, the regeneration of moral values, and the repositioning of the family as a central piece of national progress uh, and concerns about its comfort. So in American material culture, you look at things like lowly toilets and imagine them in a whole new context.